talking about our budget. I reached out to you because you were so upset about it. I have explained the circumstances. Well, that you are well, then, well then don't make the comment tonight about poor leadership. I'm saying uh, just one example of how heated things got at times during tonight's St. Joseph County Council meeting. The council voted to override the Board of Commissioners' veto on the 2016 budget. And WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is at the live desk. And Patrick, council members said this was a long process. Yeah, Rick, some of them actually said this was the longest budget process they've ever gone through. But the council got the six votes they needed to override that veto. That means that this year the county has a budget for 2016. But there'll be a lot of problems moving forward. It was a packed room and at times a heated meeting. But in the end, the council voted six to three to override the Board of Commissioners' veto of their budget. I am glad that the recommended budget by this fiscal body was passed tonight after the Commissioner's veto. But when you say a sigh of relief, we have too many demands coming in 16 and 17 to breathe any type of sigh of relief. We've got a, a modest increase in revenue. The potential problem is that expense, expenses are growing at a higher slope than revenue. So That problem of sustainability was part of the reason the Board of Commissioners vetoed the budget last week. And that was echoed by members of the council tonight. But several county departments made their case for why the budget should pass, mainly that they've already cut services and expenses to the bone. It's become apparent the loss of those services and our current personnel situation has placed the health of the county at ri populace at risk and therefore is unacceptable to the board and should be unacceptable to this body. We have some serious needs in St. Joe County and the only way to address those needs are to give these crucial departments everything they need to do their job. But even those in favor of next year's budget admit that there's a problem in St. Joseph County moving forward. And what makes it an almost impossible task is the needs of the, our county departments, especially in the realm of public safety, they do not go away. Those demands don't go away. All they are doing is increasing. Now, if the budget wasn't approved, the sheriff, health department, and prosecutor said they would have to request additional funds individually. The sheriff said that the jail in particular is very understaffed and can't keep operating the way it's been operating this year. The council members said that they'll have to be making some very tough, tough choices moving forward into 2017. At the live desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT 22 News. Patrick,